We've got a recipe for disaster today. And just to keep things interesting, switch things up a little bit, we're gonna let the cameraman do the taste test. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that I've got 15 year old beans that I stored up for Y2K. I know from experience that the longer you store your beans, the tougher they get and the longer it takes to cook them. I'm going to cook them in a crock pot. The simplest way to cook the beans is just to put water and salt, but I like to flavor things up if I can. We're actually going to eat this stuff. So I'm going to use some of my homemade bacon and I'm going to dice it and then saute it uh, with an onion in uh, some of this leftover bacon grease. Then I'm gonna add them to the pot with a bunch of beans and some seasoning and uh, some water. Add a little black pepper. Let's check these beans. We had some other containers of these beans that we've opened up over the years and you know I've stored them the same way so I fully expected these to be fine and they are. What I did before I put them in the bucket years ago was to freeze them in case there were any bugs and that would kill the bugs and then I put them into the container and uh, put the top on it but let it warm up back to room temperature before I fully sealed it and put it away. So that simple. You know you should put a desiccant. Uh, maybe you should store it in a nitrogen atmosphere or at least put an oxygen absorber in it to prevent oxidation of your food and take all those measures and that will increase the storage time and improve the final quality of your food, no doubt. I didn't do any of that. I just froze them and put them in here and then sealed it. And they've been there since January 23rd, 1999. I got an email from Elmer the other day, gave me the idea to do this. He was thinking about, you know, storing up a bunch of food and getting ready for a disaster. He's worried about people thinking he's paranoid. Don't worry about whether you're paranoid, okay? Because, because the real issue is, are you paranoid enough? I'm just kidding. You store things because you want to be ready in case of a flood, in case of an economic or political disaster. These things have happened in the past. We're not immune. The world has not changed. It is still a fallen world full of dark and wicked people. So, bad things can happen. And if you're ready for them, then you're better off. While everybody was being hysterical about Y2K, you know, for me, buying beans and putting them in a bucket was just something I did every year anyway. I don't really know but I have read that the longer you store them, um, you know, the more they decline in food quality so that you're, you're losing nutritional value over time. Make sure these onions are good and tender. One, two, looks like a rock or dirt. I wonder if I should wash these first. Kind of late for that batch, but I'll wash the next one. Great teaching moment here. I should have washed them all, but you can learn from my mistakes. All right, so you wash them. It won't hurt anything. It's just gonna be a little gritty. See the grit in the bottom? That's what washed out of one cup. So those other two cups have all that in there. That's why the cameraman's gonna taste it first. Seal these back up. We'll check them again in another 15 years. I should have like 10 subscribers by then. I'm gonna check these beans 
you know, several times over the next few hours. And as they swell, I'll check and see if I need to add more liquid. One thing I might do is add a little vinegar just for flavor. <clears throat> so probably about a quarter cup. It's been 18 hours. I hope they're done. Cilantro. safe to eat. I don't know if beans do a better job or a worse job the older they get. You know what I'm talking about, right? So this could be something really good if you got the in-laws coming. Serve this to everybody, you know, if you don't want them staying so long. They're still a little firm. I probably need to go another six or eight hours cooking to get tender. You know the bacon and onions are a delicious seasoning. If you store your beans in a bucket and keep them dry for 15 years, you'll be able to eat them at the end of that 15 years. And depending what you put in it, how you cook it, it might be delicious, like this. So it's a real simple recipe, you should try it. And uh, kind of fine tune it to your own personal liking. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to the blog, survivalnewsonline.com. I'll have a write-up about this recipe and some variations for you. I'll see you there.